Drag Racing fan, Monday Morning Racer here. I'm in Brownsburg, Indiana, the hub for NHRA Nitro Methane Burning Drag Racing. And behind me, as you can see, is the Cruise Petragon Racing Shop. And you are about to go in along with the Monday Morning Racer next. <laughs>
Monday morning racer here in the Cruise Petragon shop of NHRA Drag Racing, and we caught up with Toby. Toby, you shared a little bit with me your story, story that I love because it sounds very similar to me. You even used the phrase, you were a stray dog. Look, <laughs> how did you get into nitro methane drag racing? I saw an advertisement on Facebook for a full-time position. It was the Norwalk weekend. I uh, went to the pits, stood there. Uh, Caleb here told me that they had filled the position earlier in the week. So I enjoyed the rest of the day of racing, come back on Friday, was watching the motor being put together, and Caleb saw me standing at the ropes, come out and said, uh, yeah, about that job, you wanna give it a try? And I said, of course I do. So I worked for the weekend, things worked out. By the end of the weekend, I had a full-time racing job. Yeah, apparently a guy had just straight up and left and they were looking for a crew member and there you were in the wing as it were waiting and to hop in love it man you know they always taught us in welding to be prepared to go into the job ready to work and ready to do your weld test and you were prepared opportunity met preparedness so look how have you liked it so far being what oh about a year and a half since then right it's been about a year and a half um it's an absolute dream come true for me uh not once have i woke up in the morning and said man, I really don't want to go to work today. You know, I, I really feel home here uh, with the people and the, the personalities and the, the drive that people have. Uh, just, just feels home. I can't come up with a better word than that, but absolutely love it. Love it. Well, Toby, how far do you think it's going to go for you? Are you kind of content where you're at? Are you looking to progress in the drag racing world at all? You know, maybe be a head wrench at some point. Maybe someday down the road, uh, I definitely have a lot of learning to do. Uh, what I've learned so far is tremendous, but uh, definitely, definitely want to pursue this and learn absolutely as much as I can about the race car and get in depth about drag racing. Uh, been a passionate fan for many, many years. Uh, to get the opportunity to see this side of it is phenomenal. So yes, I, I do plan on continuing for many years. Uh, learning and, and advancing my skills. Well, Toby, look, we hope you do have those many, many years. It's good to be here as the Monday morning racer in the shop today, and thank you for your time, man. Appreciate it, and thank you for stopping by. Monday Morning Racer continuing to talk through these crew guys. I love talking to these crew guys. The untold stories out there in the NHRA Nitro Pits. Caught up with Nick. Nick, man, you've been here for a couple of years. You've been doing this for a long time. You said, how did you get your start? And highlight some of the top teams you've been with. Well, I guess I grew up racing, start with, started racing in the Junior Drag Racing League and always wanted to do this. Continued on and had a lot of fun. Um, Terry Haddock was actually how I started with it. He was from the same town as I grew up in and then from there I went to work at uh, worked at Bernstein's for a few years and worked at Forces and then was with uh, Tasca's and then here. Um, so it's been it's been a fun ride you know and just kept working my way up. Started as a bottom end guy and ended up co-crew chief so with a lot of hard work it was it worked it paid off it really did. Well it's paid off you're, def you're definitely still in the industry and with a great team here at Cruz Petragon Racing. You mentioned junior dragsters. I was a junior dragster guy myself so uh, what was it like your time in junior dragsters? What did it teach you about drag racing that you even still carry on to this day? Well I was there for the very beginning for the first year that it came out and it, what it did was I, I saw the cars wanted to do it. My, well my dad told me if you want to do this I'm not I'll, I'll pay for it but you're doing all the work right down from truck, trailer, maintenance, changing tires, whatever it took. So what it taught me was there's more to it than just driving the car and I got to do everything from start to finish and that helped me with my future and what I've become. Well, you, definitely the future worked out for you. I'm sure you still consider that you've got a bright future ahead of you. Where else in the industry do you hope to get to or you feel content where you're at? Is it crew chiefing? Is it staying right where you're at? Matter of fact, what do you do on Sundays? I'm um, actually going to co-crew chief with Eric Lane. Him and I uh, r work on together to get uh, running the car with Cruz, you know, and I'm very content with where I'm at. It's Cruz gives us a great place and it's fun. It's, you know, good people. Eric Lane and I work together 
years passed and to be back together with him and now put with the crews with the three of us, it's really a good place to be. Uh, I can't, can't say I'd go anywhere else or want to go anywhere else, you know, this is, it's awesome. Nick, look man, we're in a shop that is sponsored by a tool company in Snap-on and you've been doing this for a long time. I've got to ask, what of the Snap-on brand is your favorite tool? I, that's hard. That's a hard one. They're all all my favorite to use. The Snap-on tools are the great, you know, some of the greatest tools I've ever used. And they probably, I'd have to say, some of their air tools or their impact guns are pretty pretty awesome guns. You know, they're fun, to, fun and very good product. Awesome. The pneumatic Snap-on tools, the one Nick is recommending. Man, look, thank you for your time here on the Monday Morning Racer camera. Thank you very much.